question here. Okay, now we're going to wrap up just a little bit more. We're going to watch a few examples of our videos and get some pointers for that. So let's um, begin. And I think we'll watch the videos up here. Okay, did we see this video last time? This is Joanna's with her slides. If we saw it, we'll just watch it again very short. So, we need to think about the, the products. Our premium export lager is described as a German branded Pilsner with an above average uh, alcohol content. Um, it's positioned at the top end of the market and is only available um, through selected merchants and retailers. Anyway, I'm sure you're, you're all familiar with that product. Um, our high malt bottled bitter rutters is described as a traditional West Country bitter with a very dark colour uh, and thick consistency. Um, it has a high price for a, a bottled bitter um, and is available through um, all major chain, uh, supermarket chains and, and off licences. As you can see, production in 1984 was around the 245,000 uh, bottles and then during the next uh, five years increased steadily. Five years ago, the annual output reached 480,000 bottles there, as you can see. Uh, and as you can see, the, the figure stayed at that, that sort of figure um, until last year, when they, when they dipped to 460,000 there, as you can see. <laughs> okay, we can see Joanna's got a little bit of a problem with her uh, presentation. So, just very quickly, I don't want to spend too much time because we're running short on time, but um, what was the machine she was using? What is that called? OHP overhead projector, right? Okay, so that's what an overhead projector looks like. And what did Joanna do? She had the problems we talked about. She got the slide upside down. She also got in the way because it's like it has to be far from the wall. She was standing there. Her shadow got in the way, right? What else did she do wrong? You couldn't see the point she was making. She got her fingers in the way, right? Yeah? So... Uh, not a very clear presentation, right? Not a very clear presentation. Also, she was looking at the slides with her back to the audience, right? So when Celia says that maybe she'll practice without the slides, then maybe it's a good idea. Maybe your presentation you can make without slides, but when you do have the slides, it's extra. It's more information, but your main point is clear without the slides. And that way, you don't need to get in the way and point to them so much. It's like more information, you see? You feel more comfortable without them. When we saw Joanna doing this, I felt it wasn't so much the problem of the, of the slides, but the problem of Joanna was not ready, <laughs> right? That's why she keeps looking at it and pointing, because she doesn't really have a point. She's not ready for the presentation, right? Okay, let's look at Joanna again, but this time let's look at her. I think this one is more prepared. A very important, perhaps the most important element in our corporate identity is our product range. The first thing to be said about this product range is that it's very diverse. Let's take our premium export lager, Hogan Brown. Now this product has always been positioned at the top end of the market. It has a very high price and is only available through specialist retail outlets. 
altogether. It's quite exclusive. On the other hand, our rut is bitter has an entirely different personality. It's brewed in a traditional way. We put a lot of malt in it, which gives it a rich golden colour. And as far as I know, it's at a medium price and sold through most supermarkets. So, as you can see, these are two very different products. One, a not market German type Pilsner, the other, a very English bitter. Our problem is we're no longer sure about what sort of brewery we are. Anyway, let's leave the products for a moment and turn to our recent record on the, on the production side. To make sure we're all in the picture, I prepared a graph which illustrates our production record over the last 12 years. As you can see, we're only going to be looking at bottled beer production. Now, 12 years ago, we had an annual output of 245,000 bottles, as you can see. Over the next six to seven years, production grew steadily and reached 480,000 way back in 1990. Those were the easy years. It seemed all we had to do was turn up at work, produce the beer, and the beer would sell itself. The last five years have been quite different. Production flattened out to around 480,000 for four years, and then, more worryingly, dropped to 460,000 last year. So, this is the background to our meeting today. We can no longer sit back and let the well-established name of Westwood do the work for us. Okay. Um, I think that uh, next week we're going to talk about this video more, because this video has some good examples in it we want to check. But today, just for the graphics, you saw that she had two basic parts, one with the product line and one with the sales, right? And they're both very clear. Product line, she had a picture of the, of the bottles. You could see clearly they're different. She one by one said what they are and is very clear. And then the revenue or the sales also very, very clear, right? Very simple, nothing special. So. She's not using a computer, she's not using anything fancy, but you can make your PowerPoint just as clear as that too. It's very well done, very different. Even more important than just her slides was that, didn't you feel like she, she knew more? She was ready, right? Did, was she perfect? No, she made mistakes. Sometimes she stopped, sometimes she had to think, sometimes she said something wrong. She's, uh, 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 she did that. She's not perfect, but she felt comfortable. She knew her main point, right? Her presentation had two, two parts, one about the product line and the problem, and what about the revenue and the problem, and what's the company's market segmentation, basically, right? So a, good, a very good example. Now then, let's uh, watch another example here. Okay, remember Gayoff at the factory? In any case, I'll, um, I'll tell you something about the plant so that later you can ask questions. And it should help to understand the process. So, here we are in the main building. Anyway, uh, we've been based here for more than 50 years. One of the country's best so, loved what's this called? Firms. Flip chart. Anyway, it uh, it started Flip chart. 
back in, in 1943, when there was a need for high quality connections. Okay, and you know, sort of it looks like he brought for. transparencies, but there's no OHP, right? Remember? What we use is a process called pre prior dynamic crystallic coating. In this process, we apply. Okay, so. In this example, we can see, just like we were talking about earlier, I don't think the problem is, the most important part is not the, is not the slides or the graphics. They're like extra. The most important part is the person who's presenting. How do they look? Do they feel confident? So in both these examples, we see Gayoff and we saw Joanna. Nervous, the reading not comfortable, don't really know what they're talking about, and key, key thing is not a main point. So in Joanna's presentation, by feeling she's very clear on the main point, which was what? Product line and then profitability, revenue. These are the two points I want to make to you today. And then here Gayoff's going to show us the three parts of his presentation about the company. The, what was it? History? people, and what was the other one? Do you remember? Let's take a look. Now I want you to look at Gayoff especially and see how he feels more relaxed. Understanding the production process. And finally, History markets people. The people. Our most important asset. Okay. Let's start with the history. Flip chart. Now, don't worry, I'm not going to give you a history lesson, just a few key dates. And right there, he's very relaxed. Stanford don't worry. started out as a private... <laughs> you see? And that's it. So, just a little example. You okay. see how he feels relaxed, so had a right? eventful 60 years or so. Anyway, I'll leave the history there. Ha <laughs> ha. If you're interested, <laughs> you'll find more about Standard in this pretty brochure. We have a book we give you. You should find one of them amongst all the other bits of paper our PR people love to give out. So let's turn now to a brief overview of our main markets. Let's look here, some more. So you, you see his presentations. Chart, you'll see our kind of like side of the pie, which in the European... By the way, you may have seen the story in the news today about our main competitor, Mountain. It seems they're going to bring out a new product which could seriously infringe the copyright. Ah, 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 ah <laughs> you see? So we'll have to wait and see how the market reacts. Anyway, let me get back to what I was saying about new markets for standard. I think we have to say that nobody really knows what the next century will bring. What's for sure is you need people who can adapt quickly. And that brings me to the final part of this short introduction to standard, and that is to talk about our people. That's one reason a flip chart is good. You As can I go said, back. They are our most important asset. Our total worldwide History, markets, people. So he covered all the three points. Staff. We even sponsored a group to sail around Britain. So, before I go on, are there any questions about our personnel policy? Questions? Okay. So, you can see that it's not so much that the, the pictures are important. The slides are not the key point. The slides are extra. What really matters is the person presenting feels relaxed, and they know it, and they have a key point. And then I thought Gayoff's example is quite good because in Gayoff's example, you can see the presentation has that flow. He says, and by the way, it's good to see you all. And then he says, oh, blah, 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 blah. And then, oh, did you hear, did you read the newspaper about our competitor? And then blah, 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 blah. And then, oh, yes, you can get one of these booklets. It tells everything. Ha, ha, ha. Is it you? Is it? So you can feel when you're, watching, when you're watching him, you feel more relaxed. Why? Because his points are clear and he is relaxed. See? Okay? All right, so next week then we'll arrange a time for your next relaxed presentations <laughs> and so just to summarize then to summarize let me give you just last last little bit of advice then it's only five minutes so you want to get 
one main point, maybe two ideas, not too much. One main point, two sub points. Keep it too much. I think you try to cover too much, it's too much. Narrow down, relax. Practice, but when you practice, don't practice to memorize, practice to relax. Okay? Key point. And I think I like Joanna's example because she was not perfect, but still she's just like, take it easy. She knows her stuff. This is the product. This is the market. Right? And I like Gayoff's example because he looks, ah, oh, yes, hi again. <laughs> okay? All right, then. Thank you very much. Have a good weekend. Question? It's whatever time you want to, so you need to discuss. Right now. It's up to you.